Well, hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm excited to bring you a 36 and 1 gameplay. And not only is it a 36 and 1 gameplay with the Mac 10, but this is amazing. And somehow, some way, I don't know how, this is a nuclear gameplay, okay? And a legitimate nuclear gameplay. And that's kind of what I'm going to be spending most of this video talking about is the legitimacy of my video and showcasing you guys everything that went into this game, like my searching. The, you know, the team balancing, etc. Just to showcase to you guys that everything I did in this gameplay is legitimate. And that's the most annoying thing for me is that I'm going to have to showcase that. But what I am going to do, which isn't going to be the most annoying thing to showcase to you guys, is my class setup. Because I'm sure some of you guys are interested. Now, I will just say, put this out there, that I don't believe this is the best setup. I haven't fully leveled this gun up, as you can see. I'm still working on that. But this is the class setup that was used in today's gameplay. And in this gameplay, I was using the infantry compensator for the barrel, uh, the muzzle. The barrel being the 6.1 reinforced heavy. The magazine being the 43 round drum mag, the handle being the speed tape, and then finally the stock being the no stock. That was, those were the attachments I was using this gun. Again, I don't believe this is the best setup for this gun. As you can see, I haven't fully leveled up. So I believe there's some more good attachments on the way for me that will make this gun a little bit better in my opinion. Should make the class up even stronger than it already is as showcased, well, what will be showcased in today's gameplay. But yeah, in today's gameplay, obviously a 36-1 gameplay with a nuclear on raid joined midway through and i'm gonna have to like explain it everything in the video is explained as far as like the legitimacy of the gameplay because that's one annoying thing that i have to discuss in this gameplay is the legitimacy of it because a lot of people will question this and even when i posted to reddit a screenshot of me getting the calling card i had a lot of people questioning whether or not i cheated you know whether i reverse boosted i joined a bot account etc my stats aren't legit and that's why in the gameplay i'll explain all this and showcase to you guys that today's video is an absolutely insane gameplay and a legitimate one of that, a non-reverse boosted 36 and 1 nuclear with the Mac 10. So yeah, let's get right into today's gameplay. Alright, hello guys, and welcome to the gameplay section of today's absolutely insane 36 and 1 nuclear gameplay with the Mac 10 and a legitimate, that's right, I have to emphasize legitimate gameplay because as you guys know, with the current scene of YouTube and YouTubers getting gameplays like this, most people are reverse boosting, you know, I'd say in, in quotations, people are cheating, in my opinion, you know, they are cheating for these gameplays. And that's why you're probably wondering, Taz, why am I watching you search? Why, where's the gameplay? Why am I watching you search for the game? Well, if one of the first things I'm going to do is showcase to you guys that everything about this gameplay is legit. There is nothing fishy. I don't do anything to get this gameplay and make it easy for myself, etc. And one of the things that people do to get easy gameplays is to join a lobby with a bot account. And the bot account is an account that has reverse boosted, you know, gone at 0100, 0 and 200, basically has a zero KD, it's never got a kill. And people, or these big YouTubers, will join with that account and then join with their main account, their 5KD, 6KD account, whatever it may be. They'll join that account, get into these easy lobbies, and just go ham on these people and get two to, you know, their, their double, triple nucleus. But that's not what I do. And as you can see, you guys, I joined this game in progress, just at the halfway mark, and as you can see, my team is losing, quite badly. We're down 50 points. Not only that, most of my team is negative, just about positive, and some are even. The other enemy team is cooking a little bit, and as you can see, this is, an, this is a kill cam as well, from one of the enemy players. So showcase to you guys that the people I am facing are not bots, okay? You can even search the KDs of the people in this gameplay. They're all 1KD players or above on the enemy team, and someone else, and someone on that enemy team, I believe, is also a 2KD player. So these people I'm facing are not bots. They're not the hardest players in the world, you know, they're, they're not all 2, 3KD players in the world, but they are pretty good players, you know, they're competent players, they know how to read a minimap, they know how to use kill streaks. they know what the good guns are, they know what the bad guns are. And so, for me to come into this game, this is a game that I'd normally actually back out of, because for instance, my team isn't doing so great. Luckily, you know, it's the halfway mark, so it's kind of a fresh start, and that's what that's what played well into this game here. So as you can see, I'm using the Mac 10, which I showed you a class setup of for. And again, I don't believe that's the best class setup for this because I haven't leveled this all the way up and haven't got the top tier attachments, the ones that will give you like in walking the movement speed and sprint out time. But this gun is insane, okay? If you use this gun correctly and get it into the close quarters situations that you need to, this gun is immense. At range, you can still get some pretty nice kills but you're gonna have to get pretty lucky okay you know you're gonna have to hit some nice shots because it's got a lot of recoil but this gun is insane i absolutely love this gun this is my favorite gun in the game right now that's how that's how much of a testament as to how much i like this gun this is my preferred gun if someone's doing well on the other team and you know i need to cook a little bit i start to pull out this gun a lot because it is insane would i say it's overpowered no i would not say it's overpowered 
Because at distance, you're not really going to beat people with ARs. You're not going to beat the AK-74U, the MP5. You're not going to be winning those gunfights because the bullet velocity of this thing is extremely low. It's like 250 or something. So it's not going to do that great. But if you're someone who can master the recall of this gun and, you, and position yourself correctly around the map, this gun is insane. And this gameplay here, like I said, is a 36 and 1 gameplay, which isn't the most insane scoreline in the world. But the fact that it was a nuclear and I joined halfway through and my team was getting... I wouldn't say demolished, but they were definitely losing the game, let's put it that way. And I brought it back, okay? Now, did we win the game? No, unfortunately not. I didn't try and cap all three flags, you know, to try and win us the game, because obviously, when you go on that nuclear streak, the most important thing was the nuclear. Because obviously, guys, I'm trying to entertain you guys here, and getting a nuclear is a pretty entertaining way, you know, to entertain you guys. And what I'm going to also discuss is, obviously, the legitimacy of this gameplay. Now, I've already said that I haven't joined with a bot account, you guys have seen that. But the other thing that people say is, oh, you reverse boosted. The previous games you played, you went 0 and 100, 0 and 100, and then you joined this lobby. Now, again, like I said, you can check the KDs of the players on the enemy team. First of all, they are none of them are bots. None of them have below a 1 KD. They're all 1 KD plus players, and one of them has a 2 KD, I believe. And then not only that, I will leave a link in the comment section below, like I did in my last video. This is mainly for like the new people who come to this channel. So if you are new, welcome. Enjoy today's video. I, ho I hope you do anyway. But yeah, I post legitimate gameplays, okay? And this is the annoying thing for me now here on YouTube because of like big YouTubers coming out and doing this whole big reverse boosting thing, which I am against just for one thing. Now, I don't like skill-based matchmaking just like anyone else. You know, I, th I think it's done wrong. I don't think it's great. The fact that it affects connections is another thing that is just a big no-no in my opinion. And I don't agree with it. But I don't reverse boost for two reasons. One, I like to get legitimate gameplays. I don't see the point in me showcasing the class uh, that I think is insane and then killing someone who can't shoot back. And two, the people who are mentally challenged and also, you know, disabled, deserve to play the game. These YouTubers who are doing this going 0 and 100, 0 and 200, you know, reverse boosting, joining with bot accounts, whatever it may be, are going into these game players, you know, getting these game players, double, triple nuclears against players who might be missing a fun, might be mentally challenged, and deserve the right to play the game. And these people are reverse boosting to the point that they will be facing those players and ruining their experience and their enjoyment of the game by getting double, triple nucleus, calling in kill streaks, getting 400 kill gameplays. It's ridiculous. So I don't agree with it. I don't think that's something that you should be doing. So I, I am 100% against reverse boosting. And that's kind of why that this video annoys me in the sense that I have to like sit there for most of the video and discuss the legitimacy of my gameplay. Because a lot of the time, people sit there and say, you cheated, you reverse boost, you can't get a nuke in Black Ops Cold War. Skill-based matchmaking is so thick in this game that you, you have no chance of getting a 30 kill streak. Now, one thing that did help me in this game, which I do believe makes it a lot easier compared to other Call of Duty's, even with skill-based matchmaking, is the fact that, one, we have the heart kill streak, which is a good kill streak when it works. You know, sometimes it's glitchy. I don't know how people don't appear on it sometimes. I don't know if Ghost counteracts it or not. I believe there's a glitch of it, maybe. But in this game, you see, you've probably seen already that the heart kill streak was working for me. It was, it was putting everyone on the radar. And on top of that, I was getting the war machine. The war machine counts towards the streak, which... I knew about this, but I just find that the most insane thing, because obviously it's a kill streak. You know, kill streaks are not supposed to count towards the nuclear, but I'm okay with that. I think they might have see seen this as like maybe they do need the war machine if they're going to get these nuclears, especially with, you know, them adding serious matchmaking. I don't know if that was an intentional design or not, but at the moment, with the way it currently is, it works out quite well. So it does help me here. As you can see, I'm on the 29. I've got the war machine now. All I had to do was play well and just position myself well. And that's one thing that I'll say about the Mac 10 as well. All you have to do with it is position yourself well, and you can get some like easy kills, okay? Because that gun absolutely rips up close. As long as you make sure you're in those close quarter situations, that gun is unstoppable. And as long as you can control the recoil, absolutely insane gun. So make sure you, you like use my class up. I wouldn't say it's my best class up, but I'd definitely give it a shot. It definitely worked out for me, and currently it still is working. So I haven't got the attachments that I want to get to, but it is an insane gun. And obviously this gameplay here is a testament to that. A non-reverse boosted, no cheating, no messing around with the matchmaking in any way, shape or form. This is a 36-1 nuclear gameplay with the Mac-10. As you guys saw, I searched for the game legitimately, didn't join a bot account. I will link my COD tracker in the comment section below so you can see every match I've played, my KD, my stats, whatever it is that you need to see to you know, know that this is legitimate gameplay. And I'm hoping this like showcases you guys from now here on out. And I, obviously it's going to be annoying that I'm going to have to leave it in the comment section every single video of my card tracker to make sure that all the new people joining to the or coming to see this video or any more videos on my channel 
have to know that my gameplays are legitimate. And again, you can check the KDs of the players in the enemy team. You can see the people even before the game, like, like before I even actually got to join properly, you saw the kill cam of someone in the enemy team. These are players who are capable, able of playing. There was nothing fishy about what I did. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's gameplay. Sorry that I ranted mostly about skill-based matchmaking, reverse boosting stuff, but I want you guys to know that everything I do here on the channel is legitimate. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe notifications on, and hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Goodbye.